Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about design and simulation of a boost converter in MATLAB. This is a circuit diagram of a boost converter. So boost converter is basically a DC to DC converter. The name boost itself signifies that it's going to increase the voltage. Uh, the supply voltage over here uh, that is assumed is 12 volts. So basically we need to get an output voltage which is greater than 12 volt. So we are going to go into the design part of it. So we have a certain uh, design specifications already given. So we are going to decide according to it. So there are three steps. The first step is to determine the duty ratio. Duty ratio is actually given by this formula. Uh, so this basically decides the amount of output voltage that has to come at the output. So uh, by applying we are, we are using a duty cycle of 33.33% in this case. The second step is to determine the inductance value which is uh, given by uh, this particular formula. So uh, one of the most important thing is that uh, we have to calculate the resistance value by applying Ohm's law uh, that is clearly indicated uh, at the node. Uh, the next step is to determine the inductance value. Usually what we do is uh, we assume 25% larger uh, inductance uh, just because of the fact that we need to operate it in continuous mode. So that's the reason for uh, having 25% uh, larger inductance value. Next step um, is to determine the capacitance value. Of course it is one of the most important uh, uh, component in the circuit. So we are assuming a ripple of about 5%. Uh, suitable ripple can be assumed as well. For this particular problem, we are assuming it for 5%. So the next step is to uh, understand what are the required components in Simulink. These are the components that are required. And once we are uh, having these components in handy, we can go to MATLAB. So let's write, here we are. So uh, I've already placed the components just to uh, make sure uh, we don't consume a lot of time in recapping these circuits. So the first st uh, thing that is to be done is to um, select the type of component as uh, inductance over here. The inductance value that we have considered uh, in our design is uh, 60 micro Henry. So we are actually setting it to 60 micro Henry. Um, and um, this is uh, an important step. And uh, after that, uh, we need a capacitance at the output. So we selecting the type of component as capacitance. The value that is uh, designed in our uh, uh, problem is 16.44. So we are choosing that. Uh, we are using a resistive load, so let us choose resistance. Uh, the amount of resistance that is calculated in our problem is 16.2. So we are going to choose 16.2 ohms. Apart from that, uh, one of the most important things is uh, that we have to disable measurement port that is not necessary in our uh, circumstances like we're not going to use it so we'll uh, disable it uh, so we're going to connect uh, each of these components so one of the most important and commonly made mistakes is uh, the the arrangement of MOSFET so it should be uh, arranged in this particular fashion uh, so that uh, uh, it operates in its particular uh, cycle so otherwise uh, there are chances that you might go wrong and uh, these uh, kind of mistakes quite commonly uh, occur. So care has to be taken in, uh, with respect to that. So apart from that, uh, we also have uh, an RMS indicator that actually determines the RMS value. So we using it to just determine uh, the amount of uh, RMS uh, output voltage that is there. We also have a special provision given to display it. So that is uh, one of the most uh, uh, important portions over here. So uh, yeah. So this is the scope that is used. Uh, scope basically uh, gives you the type of waveforms uh, that are to be displayed. So you can see all the waveforms over here. Uh, we can connect the uh, RMS value across the output that is uh, going to be displayed. And um, now uh, the next step is to define these parameters, like uh, what are the voltage levels. So we're using uh, 12 volt as the supply uh, in our design. Please go to our design part where uh, we have selected the components. We have already selected the inductance value. So this is one of the most important steps. Uh, usually students do a lot of mistakes with this, with respect to this. So um, with respect to time period in seconds, uh, we've chosen switching frequency as 25 kilohertz. So reciprocal of uh, like the time period is given by one by F. So reciprocal of 25 kilohertz is um, 4 into 10 power minus 5. So 
this is uh, one of the most important steps that uh, people commonly do uh, mistakes on um, so the pulse width uh, chosen in our design is 33.33 percent so we'll set that as well so once that is done i guess uh, we have already uh, uh, added on the design parameters for rest of them let's set the simulation time to one second so that it doesn't consume a lot of time so let's uh, check that out so uh, with this uh, kind of an uh, design we need to get an output voltage of 18 volts which is approximately displayed in this uh, display we can see the output waveform as well uh, by double clicking on the scope uh, you'll be here we are uh, we see the output voltage to be held constant at around 18 volts this is just the ripple uh, you can reduce it further by choosing suitable inductors and uh, cap capacitance values um, so that's it if you like this video please do subscribe it thank you